everybody, how's it going? I'm back with another new music video reaction slash review for you guys. And this time it is for Black Swan by Rainbow. And this will be my first review of a Rainbow song. But I do know about the group, I know their music, and I recognize most of the members. So I'm not going into this totally blind, but I haven't watched any teasers for this song at all. I wasn't even aware that this song came out today until one of our subscribers posted it to our Facebook group. So thanks for that, and let's jump right in and check it out. SP intro. Cool. interesting. The uh, outro didn't really relate to the rest of the song, uh, but it was a nice little 
piano piece with the uh, vintage record sounds going on in the background. I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this song actually. Uh, a lot of things that I did like, uh, but a lot of things that just kind of let me down or I wasn't that into. And the first thing I want to talk about is this concept of space in the mix. And there are a lot of ways to do this. You can create space by just not having many layers in the backing track, um, having spaces between the percussive elements or you know, guitar or synth parts. You can have the rhythms sort of stab and then just not be playing. Uh, you can also create space by hollowing out certain frequencies, like if there's only a droning bass part and you're leaving lots of space in the high end, or you know, there's lots of cymbals but there's no low end. You could carve out a space in the middle, it could be big, it could be small, you could have not very many vocal parts. You know, there are a lot of different ways to create this sort of sense of space and effectively use silence within a mix. But the current thing that I've been hearing that seems to be a trend in K-pop is creating really sparse mixes. And I just want to clarify that really quick because I think some of you guys have taken it the wrong way and you've taken it to mean that I'm saying anything that's not musically complex or dense is not good. I'm not implying that creating space or having something that's simple is not good or not effective. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. The thing that I don't like and what I'm talking about is when a song or a production has very obvious holes in it, or it leaves you feeling like you want more, or you're missing something, or something's just not quite exciting enough in the song. And when somebody does something that's simple or sparse to create space, it can serve to bring the dynamics in the song down, it can make you focus on whatever's left. Um, it's a really effective tool, but what I've been hearing recently a lot, and what I think I'm hearing in this song, is sparseness just for the sake of not coming up with an idea of something else to put there, or just simply not recognizing when, oh, maybe there should have been something else there to help the song build or help to further and enhance the purpose of the song as a whole. So with all that in mind, let's jump back in and listen for some areas that you feel like there just should have been something else there or they kind of were like an emotional letdown. Uh, maybe they didn't build up enough uh, to create some dynamics between the next part, you know, kind of take you on a ride. Um, listen for all those little things and I'll try to point them out as we go through the song. got the logo all right here we go so the intro is cool uh, I really like the music video uh, kind of pulled the color pulled the saturation out of it uh, but it looks really cool without being black and white um, I'm a fan of that type of thing now here what are they doing here very sparse. There's just one really clean and cool sounding synth part. It's forcing you to focus on the vocals. It's a really effective intro. Then we bring in the drums, it creates some interest, builds the song up, gives it some motion. And the producing on this is just fantastic, it sounds great. But then we have that. I think I get what they were trying to do. They were kind of trying to fake you out because you expect to hear a build up there before the chorus. But for me at least, it just kind of served as a little bit of a letdown. Instead of sort of surprising me and going, oh wow, I better pay attention, it kind of was like, why wasn't there more there? And then the chorus here, the chorus doesn't really have anything more intense than the first verse either. I would have liked to hear a little bit more intensity in the vocals especially. Also here, the very simple synth parts. Um, see, there's a little cool stuff going on in the transition, but then that's it. There's nothing more to it. I like the vocals here though. I would have liked to hear a little something more to support them. Just add some interest underneath. That was kind of a weird way to get into the next chorus. Um, I think maybe if there was a build up going into the first chorus, that might have been effective because then you really wouldn't have been expecting it. Um, but with the way the song ended up laying out, it just kind of, it's kind of just misplaced I felt like. 
a little bit of a strange hole in this middle of the song. And then there, that totally faked me out. I thought they were going to go for this heavy, intense breakdown. But again, they kind of chose to go for a sparse, more basic bridge here. I like that vocal line. That was intense. That's the intensity I was looking for. Creates emotional dynamics and uh, also volume dynamics. And then this part, they bring it back down. Just kind of, you know, create some dynamics. I'm going to stop it right there. It's just, you know, the bridge is really exciting and intense and they got the big vocal note. I really like that. Uh, that was some great singing. And actually the singing throughout this song is very good. What I'm picking at is just kind of the energy level and intensity level is kind of uh, stagnant. It's kind of the same throughout the song. Uh, the intro was kind of low and quiet, kind of pulled you in. That was cool. But then, you know, I got up to the second part of the first verse and it kind of stays there through the chorus. Uh, through the next verse, through the chorus. Then the bridge, you know, gets a little intense, but then it goes back to kind of the same. And generally, I like to hear, you know, a little bit more variation in uh, intensity, especially emotionally with the vocals. So there's nothing wrong with how they sung it at all. It's just uh, the combination of the vocals staying at the same intensity level uh, very consistently, and then not having anything in the backing track to build up since the vocals weren't doing it and they weren't carrying that movement, um, you didn't have anything doing it because the backing track wasn't doing it and the vocals weren't doing it. And then to choose to do the arrangement the way they did where there's like a hole in the song before the choruses, um, I would have liked it if they only used one of those in the song and then had more of a traditional build up before the choruses. I think that would have been a lot more effective and it would have let you appreciate the one that they dropped out wherever they chose to put it in the song. So take a listen right here again and just kind of try to imagine like how the song would sound if it was building a little bit more towards something. Yeah, you could have had a little bit of a build up into there. Could have had some vocal riffs going on here. Just kind of soaring over the chorus part. There's a lot of things they could have done. It had a lot of potential. I also would have liked to hear more vocal harmonies. They're there, but they're too quiet. I want to hear them. These, these girls are good singers. It's perfect. I like the ending too. That was cool. I'll have to look up the lyrics, but uh, I like the it's perfect. That was cool. The piano outro, you know, it's not related, but that's okay. Um, it fit the sort of mood of the song. Um, maybe they could have incorporated some piano into the song itself to help fill some of those uh, kind of sparseness holes of the mix. There are a lot of things they could have done, I don't know, just to fill out the song a little bit more, but despite all the things I've been talking about, I did enjoy the song. Um, it wasn't a failure, there wasn't really anything bad about it. The synthesizers that they did use and the drum sounds and the vocals all sounded really good and I thought this song was just mixed and mastered and produced extremely well. It sounds huge, it sounds great, but despite all of those things it's still kind of just a middle of the road song for me because I felt like there were some gaps that they could have easily filled in and taken it to another level and really made it stand out and improved it. But as it sits, I did enjoy it. I thought Rainbow especially did a really great job with their vocals. I just would have liked to hear a little bit more of them in the track and I'll be looking forward to hearing the song on all the music shows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of my review or this music video. Uh, anything you want to say, leave it in the comment section. And anytime you can share this video to forums, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff really helps us out, so I'll see you guys next time.